Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny and Erin. So, BTS. <gasps> I feel like I was doing okay with them being in the military, but you know, like the closer we get to Jin coming back, the more I'm now like, I'm done now. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I've reached my limit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you've got for me. I really want an MV. I don't think we have any MVs left. We no, we we must do. And I was thinking about this because we might have had the songs, but we haven't seen like all of the, we haven't seen all of the MVs from the BU, have we? You're asking that I'm not Armypedia. <laughs> I just wants them. I was really. I don't know why I was having a full like tantrum on my own about this in the car driving to work because yeah. I put the the like my cup of TV playlist yeah. on. But my car, my car didn't shuffle it, so it gave me all of yeah. the songs in the order, and it was like reliving everything. And I was like, <laughs> I just want to go back and like watch them again. My my cup of TV playlist when I have it on shuffle, it's currently really into J Hope. Yeah, and that's a good thing because who I'm is really it? <laughs> No, it was so lovely to get all of the songs. It just, yeah. One of my, I definitely put it in my top ten BTS songs. Well, they don't ask me to name a top ten. I can't deal with the stress. It's very changeable. Um, Michael Cosmos. So this is a live performance from the Tonight Show. Oh, okay. Because you know they did like a, during COVID, like BTS week, where they'd done yes. these sets. So this is one of those, because we haven't done this yet. And we haven't done Microcosmos since we first reacted to it, which is a live performance. Yes. Um, And it's one of those songs that I listen to it a lot. As soon as I hear that beginning bit of music, it makes me happy. But it also makes me sad, because it's always the end of BTS club night. It is. The lights go on. I say lights, not the club lights. Everyone puts their lights on their phone, or they have their light sticks, and... Yeah, it's always the end of the night. It is very unifying. Yeah. Like, in that space you all feel the same and yeah. you're filled with love and, yeah, sadness, like missing people yeah. is love as well. Yeah. It's just different, different flavours of love. I feel like I'm getting really emotional <laughs> about this. I really You're setting yourself up. I for really it. am. I just I really do miss them. And Okay, you talk about missing them and for me it's like BTS have become like home. And I know this because you know when you're scrolling on TikTok and it comes up and it has some lovely song playing over the top and it's like I was alone and then I found my home and then like photos come up. And it's someone's family, and I'm like, oh, I thought it was going to be BTS. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, we want actual people in their lives. What is this? It's like people's like, baby pitch their babies, and I'm like, I thought it was going to be BTS. Scroll. <laughs> like, Mine would be. <laughs> yes. No, I do. I, I do know exactly. Yeah. What you mean. He's like, you have real human connections. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. In the comments, where have you had a moment where you've realised that BTS are home? <laughs> they are your... They're your people. Yeah. It's like, I am a multi, so I go out visiting everybody. Might stay for a weekend, but home, home yeah. is home. <laughs> hey, YouTube. It's BTS. Hey, Jimmy. Oh wow, with the reflection of the water. Uh, oh. Have a look at our um, I think someone needs to stop Jim. Jim has got me to cheer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his smile. Give me your 
Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> That's a gorgeous colour. This voice, I love him so much. Oh. JK is glowing. I love the location of this. Oh, the breeze. <laughs> White shirt, oh man. Yeah. He is perfection. Talking of perfection. Oh my god. Because I see enough of them as a no. pairing. Such a treat. Need to find a compilation. Oh. <laughs> it's really going. <laughs> It's one of those I needed a separate thing of the setting because the setting is beautiful and I want to see it but I'm also like no whilst they're performing I just want to see them <laughs> yeah it it was beautifully distracting yeah. but it was so nice to see them in a space like that yeah. that I feel like that must have felt a very special Moment. space to yeah. perform in um oh my god right i don't know if this is the kind of content that comes up on your instagram but i get a lot of like um wedding stuff and it's okay. like just before they you can get pictures with the couple before they um before they see each other when jimin was stood was it Jim and, and B that was yeah. stood and they were like either side of the column. So you could just imagine <laughs> the photo of their like holding hands just before oh. oh my god. What I would do and they like oh my god I love you so much but I want to swap places with you and have that photo with Jim and I know that's such a bad thing to say. Oh but could you imagine you're in like this that like, beautiful like K drama moment and you're playing like hide and seek <laughs> behind the pillars and all these photos. That's what I was getting yeah. from from Jim and everyone else was giving me like beautiful soulful microcosmos vibes. Jim and was again being sussy. 
Jimin, from the moment I set eyes on him, I was like, oh no. It's going to be one of those videos where I need to sit and watch like that to be able to it look at someone else. Because he's looking around at people. He looked so beautiful. Slightly like sultry he predator. Had, he had the naughty glint in his eye where you know. Mm-hmm. But they were like, Jimin, and he turned <laughs> off and he's like, there is no switch. <laughs> and that shirt. Oh. Gorgeous. To be fair, you could put a rubbish bag on him and he'd still be like, yeah. <laughs> scream like opulence, wouldn't yeah. he? <laughs> Gorgeous. The beautiful reminder of the lyrics. Yeah. Because I don't often get the opportunity to rewatch the MVs. Mm. So I just, obviously, we do it and then I just hear it kind of going forward and you can always, always get the feeling of it. And at some point, I knew what it all yeah. meant, but it's a really beautiful reminder of what they're actually saying and it it reconfirms how it makes me feel yeah and i i that's why i love doing these revisiting them. Yeah. yeah no because we've only done the one of michael cosmos the live performance because there is no mv and it's weird to think that we've only done that when i listen to this song so much yeah it feels like a very it's a bigger part of our BTS lives mm. than the yeah one watched at the beginning. Do you know what was. I think it is? I think, and it could be I link them because we did them back to back on the same day reacting, but it's Microcosmos and Magic Shop that are people who there is almost a difference between a casual BTS listener and an army, where you've got people who know the big songs, they know the the big releases. They've seen MVs, they know who BTS are, they might know members. And then you've got armies where these are songs that are like, no, this this is a connecting song yes. between Army and BTS. Microcosmos, Magic Shop, these are our songs. <laughs> and within a fandom, yeah. It you feel unified under this one mm. this one song. Yeah. Do you remember that we've got a video of it at Club Night where we'd met a whole group of people and yeah. we were just all there singing Magic Shop together. <laughs> I love that we're all singing it when none of us knew the words in Korean. <laughs> but it's the it's the feel of yeah. it you do get, and it's so beautiful. Um, I love that they because what I'm trying to think from the Jimmy Fallon. What else did they do in that week? Idol. So yeah, that typical we'd home we'd seen. <laughs> yeah, so a real like yeah interesting in the um on on Grand Central might be the separate one hang on so because obviously for Idol that had that gorgeous did that have the same backdrop then it wasn't the same but it might be from a different angle yeah yeah, that's what I mean but from that possibly yeah, because I remember thinking then that that yeah. was. I can't, in like, imposing, but in like a very beautiful yeah. way. Um, we had some nice Tajin. Oh. Uh, please put links in the comments for Tajin um compilations because it's a pairing. Like I said, I don't feel like I've seen a lot of their interactions. They normally end up on opposite sides and it's very difficult for me yeah because i kind of have to so i always look for like wherever they yeah group together uh so you know it'll be my birthday like reasonably soon maybe i could have that as a little, <laughs> as a little gift because yeah i i love my boys yeah they make me very happy and that was just a stunning vocal visual interaction one thing i really loved in this is that when you know bts you felt all the way through this you felt the vibe we've already said it about jimin he was the most obvious with it but you felt like there was this undercurrent of this could flip at any moment if one of them goes they're all going because when jin and tay were together one of them's going to start laughing someone one of them's going to go RM had a little bit of like a, 
Like he was like, "Oh, we going to be yeah. a bit cheeky," and everyone kept it. He was in bit... the background at one point, like jumping or something. Yeah, I don't know. Even when he was like, you could see a smile, yeah. and when he was waving his arms, because if this was at a concert oh, and yeah. they were wrapping up, oh my gosh, the vibe would be very different. Yeah, you know, you'd feel that undercurrent. Yeah, you just you <laughs> never knew where it was going to go from being like a loving, sentimental yeah. to. Just well, I say that. Love I say college. all of them. I saw it in Jin Tay. Jimin wasn't hiding it. Um, RM, it was there. JK, I felt was very focused. I think maybe he was deliberately blocking. Yeah. Like, I'm sure he was actually glowing though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he he just like a yeah. sparkly it's like star shirt. On. Every time he appeared on screen, I can imagine I could hear a harp playing. <laughs> he just. <laughs> like you wanted to ask it. Good. And he had like a little slight flick in his hair, I know. It's just a little flick. Very angelic. But J Hope had a big like just his smile on his J-Hope face. J Hope was pure sunshine in this. Even Sugar had like a Yeah. I felt like the only person that like must have stuck with the the brief actually probably was Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> probably watching him back going Guys, I didn't think that's yeah. what we agreed. <laughs> I thought Yungi was quite serious with it. He was... I think Yungi was in the song. It is, a, it is a definite, like... In your feels, but not like a... Sad in your yeah. feels. Like a... Um, but J-Hope... Now, it just proves the, the vibe that J-Hope has. So he's got his hands in fists. His arms are straight, Right? I can't do what he was doing and still look cool. He was just, just like, how does, how? Every time he's on screen, he's doing that. He was like, Jehope's hopes vibing. <laughs> he just, it has to be a confidence, but also a dancey thing mm. that there are, he obviously is using muscles that we don't have access to. <laughs> don't have. Yeah. <laughs> don't have access to it. Every time the camera went on him and he would smile, he was like, it really does. It's like a blinding. Yeah. Like we say when we listen to true crime, they light up a room. It's J-Hope. Yeah. There are very few people I feel like you can genuinely say that about. But he I've only them. seen one person in real life in front of me do it and gone, you light up a room. Protect this person. <laughs> but I'm in every room with you kind of creepy that you say that so when i don't see you <laughs> <you're there. laughs> i am the light jenny i am the light um but yeah j hope has it most definitely i just think rm looked fantastic I'm... rm in <sighs> just crisp white shirts is did you hear that i did the loins are cool. loins. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Mm. Yeah, and like the slicked hair, he just radiated love and power. Mm. Oh, He just looked like he was really enjoying himself, which possibly, I think, makes me the happiest. When yeah. I see them looking like they're really feeling it and enjoying it, that Brings me so much Especially happiness. Especially for something like this where they're not performing with a crowd. That must be very difficult. Because they do feed off the crowd, and I think this is a song where they do feed off the crowd because it's a let's say it's an army and BTS song. Yeah. And to think of the reasons why they couldn't mm. be performing yeah. it with people and obviously what their plans had been to yeah. do all these performances before. I wonder whether that's why. Jimin was behaving the way he was because I think out of all of them Jimin and Tay are the two that feed off the crowd most so maybe that's why those two seem to be looking for more interaction yeah, than the maybe. others because they just feel they need it more I'm really glad we uh, revisited that beautiful song, beautiful people, beautiful setting yeah. I couldn't have asked for anything more I don't think I, I, to, I, to be there If it was just me there, like a concert just to me in front of them in that moment, I think I would have felt really intru- like I was intruding on a moment when for more people. 
Nah, abi abi. Although, do we really want all of them having to feed off me? <laughs> oh, you'd get a very different performance, yeah. wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, okay. So, that was our reaction to BTS performing Microcosmos on The Tonight Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.